one of the most rewarding aspects of farming in a small community is is you quickly learn uh, all of the people that uh, are there to uh, support a common goal and whether it's planting or harvest we uh, we are all working together to ensure that that crop is either uh, placed uh, in, in in the ground and and nurtured and and will go on to to be harvested my name is Jason Frericks from Wilmot South Dakota and I currently serve as the chairman for the South Dakota Soybean Research and Promotion Council. So I'm the uh, uh, fourth generation farmer here. My dad Kent uh, and mother uh, Faye, uh, they uh, obviously would be uh, a third generation in, in this uh, part of uh, South Dakota. So we uh, certainly are a family farm operation uh, to the fullest extent. Uh, where I had my original passion and still have is, has been more on the livestock side. I was uh, a minor in animal science and, and through that I learned uh, what I could in terms of uh, being able to uh, raise cattle and, and that's been a passion but it, it doesn't overlook the fact that we still have uh, the corn, soybeans, uh, wheat, uh, alfalfa on the uh, grain and uh, forage production that's very uh, crucial to our operation. My brother Aaron is all on the crop side of things and he uh, uh, handles much of our uh, organizing in terms of the inputs and, and planning and, and getting everything uh, situated. You know, we each operate individually, but we farm together. We have to uh, continue to be communicating, so that's very important for us. Uh, my parents, uh, Kent and Faye, are still actively involved. They, uh, uh, you know, it's just so important to have their support, uh, whether it be uh, uh, you know, certainly uh, transportation to get around and, and that uh, they are there to uh, uh, back us up and, and help support our efforts. Well, the future is continually bright. It's, we just, we don't know what will be, um, you know, the next uh, big thing that uh, will change for uh, that next generation. On the livestock side of things, you know, we have to continue to look for ways to be more efficient especially in how we produce the uh, proteins out there that are consumed. And so we, uh, you know, we, we just don't know where it may take us, but in the end, we still are going to need farmers, we're still gonna need land, we still are gonna need our communities to, to be there to support us along with our families, and that's not in any particular order. Uh, I'm very excited and know that the future is bright. Uh, these young people today uh, are very smart. They have all of the latest technology at their fingertips uh, and can be channeled into some very productive uh, a future to where uh, it doesn't matter. In my case, we have two girls and uh, they can go on and be farmers if they so choose and I hope they will. Uh, it, it, the, the sky's the limit for them and it, we see that here in, uh, in our farmer operation. We see that in various farms uh, across the country. It's just. It's so wonderful to have uh, this opportunity in front of us. You know, I think that's what's really neat about our farm in terms of uh, you know, generational involvement. Uh, we uh, we've been just so fortunate that the necessary uh, land has been available here uh, for my uh, brothers and I to be farming and, and consider ourselves to be well on our way to make sure that uh, the Ferrix uh, farm operation will continue to be a family farm operation for generations to come.